Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy, and today is sort of the day before I'm due to set off on a big road trip actually down to Cornwall with my friends. Now, last year, um, me and my friends did the same kind of thing. We did a road trip to Scotland, and I did a little bit of a vlog when we were up there of some of the things we saw and some of the things we did. Um, but it wasn't very well put together. I didn't do a lot of filming So this time when we went to Cornwall I thought I would do a lot more filming and make a proper vlog So in total we are going for five days. We're setting off tomorrow Which is the 3rd of July Monday the 3rd of July 2023 um, There will be five of us going so I'll introduce everybody uh, when we meet up um, but there are five people in total. We're going in four cars. We'll be setting off from um, the north of the UK. So I actually live in the Lake District, which is in the northwest, just below the Scottish border. We'll be setting off from here about 10, p uh, 10 a.m. And we'll be driving down to a small village in Cornwall called Cheddar. Um, I'll try and vlog a little bit of that when I'm setting off. I'm going to go and pack now. And I'll see you all guys in the morning. So it is currently the day we are due to set off. Um, it's about 8.30 now, the 3rd of July. Uh, it's a Monday. We're setting off on a Monday. We're meeting up um, for nine o'clock at a petrol station. It's about 20 minute drive from here. And um, we're all gonna meet up there. But before we set off, I thought I'd quickly introduce you to one of my new cars. So this will be the first time you've seen this car on the channel. And this is my Citroen C2 VTS. It's a lovely little car. I'll introduce everybody when we get to the petrol station and their cars that they'll be bringing and you know I'll just do a bit of a vlog every day as we're going around. Right, so I've made it to the petrol station, it's just over here. Um, I'm actually the first one here, um, so I am a little bit early. We said we were going to meet at nine or just after nine. It's currently quarter to nine, uh, so I am a little bit early. No one else is here yet, um, so I'm just going to wait till they arrive. I need to actually check my tyre pressures. Filled it full of fuel yesterday, but I didn't check the uh, tyre pressures, so I'm going to go do that now whilst I'm waiting for everyone. Mr. Daniel has just arrived. This is his little car. He's got, he's just bought this actually. It's a little Suzuki Alto. It's his second car. Oh, there's a van just pulling in away. There he is, Mr. Kearsley himself. He's giving us a wave to the camera. Cool. I have been joined by Mr. Kearsley. Hello. And you can probably hear, it's mm. absolutely pissing it down now. Uh, no one else has arrived yet. You're well, I'm technically the first, yeah. you're the second. Who else have we got to come? Lewis, Kyle and Brad. Are they yes. in one car? Or two cars? No, two cars. So, uh, Kyle and Brad. You might have seen Kyle on the channel before, or you might have heard him. I've made quite a few videos of Kyle. Um, so, he's coming in Brad's car. So, That's they're in I a mean. car together, aren't That's they? I, mean. I know Lewis is separate. Yeah, Lewis is in his yeah. own car. Uh, he's got a very nice Subaru, so... Um, I'll show you that when he arrives. Here is Mr. Peary in his Subaru. It's a very nice car. So this is our final car, Mr. Bradley's car. And this is Kyle, this is Kyle's mum. Kyle's going with Brad in this car. 
Brad, you've done a few mods I see since I last saw it. He's got the little deflectors on here, some nice wheels. Very nice. I can't really go over about 75, 80. Why? It doesn't go much faster than that, okay. Okay! Why? Because shit! Why can't your car do above that, Troy? <laughs> All the right driver. <laughs> no, baby driver over here. Baby driver! <laughs> so, the clip you're watching now is recorded by Kyle. This is a little bit of a voiceover I'm doing because Kyle did a lot of filming for me, so thank you to him. Uh, this is when we were setting off from the petrol station heading south down the M6 to our first night stop. We've got myself in the little C2, we've got Kyle and Brad in uh, Brad's Vauxhall Corsa, you've already seen Daniel's little auto and Lewis is in his Subaru. So as we were driving down the motorway it was quite rainy to be honest, it wasn't a very pleasant journey. Uh, about an hour and a half into the trip we had a little stop for a pee break and a little bit of lunch. I don't know how long have we been going, about an hour and I need a piss already. Look, it's a wild YouTuber. Kill yourself. <laughs> Did you not like that one, Brad? No. I'm tired. I've been up since I'm six. I'm saying the YouTuber making vlogs in the wild. So at some point at a roundabout we've lost Troy, don't know quite where he's gone but we're just continuing on to get to Clarkson's farm, uh, we've got Lewis in front, you can't see him because he's buggered off and we've got Daniel behind us, Troy's nowhere to be seen, so it's my vlog now, so hope you enjoy, innit Brad? Yeah, there, there we go, oh, see there's Lewis, he's just dead, we've got Oscar the Otter, yeah we're, uh, is that Star Lord is it? Ah, uh, it's someone, it's someone. Fashionably late. Yeah, when I've been here before. I went the right way, you got fucked off somewhere else. Hey, we got here before you, lad. You need to get here. Uh, uh, well, well, one is, I stopped for petrol, and two is, I got stuck behind a fucking tractor. Was it, was it Jeremy Clarkson in the tractor? No, but I just saw an Aston Martin going down there, so that might have been him. Might have been. No, he's not here. It's not very nice, is it? It's nice around the back. Yeah, there's cover. Like, all, all that's literally just seating. Let's go sit down and work out how to on the back. A YouTuber at Clarkson's farm. Who would have guessed? Turn it back on yourself. Oh, how do I do that? Just turn the camera around. Hey! It's <laughs> pointing up your nose. Hey, of course. Can you actually buy a camera? Yeah, they've got no containers here, though. They've got two in there. Expired. They've got expired milk in them, so... <laughs> Brad, Brad took a little sniff. There's actually a camera up there so that he might be watching us. Hi! There's a camera up there watching us. We haven't got a pen to sign the wall. I oh, will get one. We'll we get went one. to the Victory Cafe in the Isle of Man. They had a wall like this and I signed it, but yeah. So after going and visiting Clarkson's farm on the way down, which turned out to be closed, um, we continued down the M6 and then onto the M5 down to our first night of camping. Amazingly, this time we all arrived at the destination together, we pitched our tents up and then we headed to the pub for a nice evening meal. How we get on? So, it is our first morning after camping it's slightly drizzling now which is not very nice lewis is just packing his tent away oh. um mr daniels just had a shower how was your dan how was your shower daniel it was nice and warm it was all right uh brad and kyle are currently just having a shower and i'm just packing away my little tent 
So uh, I think we're all set fairly well. Um, we're going to pack the tents away, have some breakfast. Fry up. Yeah, Lewis and me are having a fry up. And then uh, this morning we're going to go through Cheddar Gorge, which is like a lovely like gorge, basically, um, that you can drive through um, big canyon walls and things. So that'll be exciting. Welcome to breakfast. The Donny Chef, Mr. Lewis, Indeed. is going to cook us a lovely meal. What have you got for us this morning? Sausage and bacon. I think he has a few eggs. We've got oh, Vimto. Yes. Oh, yeah. I've got orange juice. You're basically Gordon Ramsay. You will make it happen. Oh, look at that. Lovely little flame going there. So you may be wondering, where are Kyle and Brad? <laughs> They've gone next door around the corner to Brewers Fair to have breakfast. Terrible. They're cheating. Small Melting a little bit of butter and then what are you going to put on first? Sausages. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Let's get a close up on the butter. Oh. Lovely. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, very fancy. So I might just whack some sausages in there, what do you reckon? Yes. Kyle and Brad are missing out with this. Yeah. This is an experience. Have you got any seasoning for it? Um, yeah, just a little, just a little sprinkle or something. Got some uh, shit for my exhaust. I don't know, that might make it taste a bit smoky. <laughs> V-powered sausages. Oh, yeah. We've got a nice little vibe going on here. We've got music from Mr. Daniel. Lewis is cooking up some bacon yeah, now. Sausages are done. Like yeah, it's actually raining like mad. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You can kind of see it on the back of Lewis's car. But we are sat under this tree up here and we're not getting wet at all. It's lovely and dry. Uh. What are you having now for breakfast, Lewis? Strawberries, Nutella. Please strawberries look at look at this. With Nutella. That's uh, like massive strawberries with a little bit of Nutella that Brad has sourced from Brewers Fair. I just robbed it. <laughs> I just put it in my pocket. It'll be like a chocolate fountain. Hmm. I'm just gonna dip it in. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Mm. It's a bit stiff. I'll study this video. Mm. Awesome. Divine. Lewis's car, he's got this lovely um, Subaru WRX hatchback. He's done a few little mods. He's got like mud flaps and uh, nice little spoiler. Here we go. Cold start. We're waking the entire campsite up. I haven't even started my Citroen yet. So on our very first day actually in Cornwall we decided to drive through this lovely little mountain pass called Cheddar Gorge and um, there's lots of caves and things. We actually stopped and had a little look later on but it looks just like you're in Austria. So we are at Cheddar Gorge. This is Cheddar Gorge. Um, we've driven through here. We just parked up. I wasn't actually planning to stop, but there was a little bit of parking space. So we thought let's stop. And it's just a massive gorge in the side of this mountain. So this is a little bit of the caves. Um, so there is caves. You can sort of go, you can see down there. We could actually send Kyle down there. No, nah, it's going to have to be Lewis or Dan. We're not going to fit one. Oh, I'd fit down that one. I'm going. That's go on. No. I'm go not down going. there, I'm Kyle. Not, I'm not going down there. Would you go down, Daniel? No. No. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little bit of the caves. Um, as we saw, like it's a massive gorge going through the mountain. Look at this. These used to be the mines. 
for their minds. Yeah. Oh, Bradley's read up on the history. Oh, Give yeah. us a history lesson then. Lewis has made some friends. They've uh, turned up in their Subaru. <laughs> After stopping to look at some of the caves and Lewis meeting some new friends in their own Subaru, we continued up the gorge and carried on towards our next destination. So we've been driving about an hour and a half, something like that. Um, we've stopped at a shop earlier and got a load of supplies for tonight so we can have a barbecue. Right now we're just at this like shell we've just filled up with fuel but we're gonna go into Greg's and have a little bit of dinner and then we're gonna carry on down the road that way uh, to the campsite it's about maybe an hour and a half drive so we're about halfway today only a short drive today um, to the campsite and then just gonna pitch up and chill there I think how are you enjoying your Greg's Kyle it's all right which camera do I look at? Is that far? How are you enjoying your great clothes? Chicken. How are you enjoying your great Daniel? Yes. Are you going to have a sip of your drink? Yes. Yes, I'm enjoying these. They're very spicy. What are these called, Kyle? Are you used to working, Greg? Chicken dipper. <laughs> Chicken goujons. Bradley McDonald is sat in his car right now. He's not having anything. He refuses to come into Greg's and have his dinner. Brad. After we stopped for dinner and Brad didn't have any, we continued towards the campsite where it started raining. Come on in, Lou. Hello there. <laughs> it's it's worse. Kyle's tent. Brad's tent. Oh. But it's like one big tent. It is one big tent. There's a bit in the middle. Are you coming in, Mr. Lewis? Come on, guys. It's pissing down. I was sat in my tent. Kyle and Brad have got their tent up now. Brad, Kyle's over here. Lewis is in here. And uh, Daniel, are you going to show your face? Hello. Daniel's here. We're all sat in their tent because it's the biggest tent. Wasn't a stupid idea buying a big tent now. Yeah, so we're all... £100 well spent. £100. Get yourself... What is it? What's, what kind of tent is it? A big tent. A big red tent. Get yourself a big red tent for a hundred quid. Go to Cornwall when it's pissing down and all of you and your mates just sit in there. Uh, it's an Argos special. Get yourself an Argos card. Get it on three instalments. So it is, what's the date today? The Anybody know? The yeah. yeah. We'll go with that. No, I think it's the 6th. No, it's the 5th. I just checked. Yeah. It's the 5th well, of July me. today. We've all just woken up. It's about 8.30. Mm -hmm. um, Kyle and Brad have collapsed their tent already. Daniel's still there. sleeping. No, he's not. He's in the Lewis has put his tent away and he's ready for breakfast. I've moved my tent into the sun to let it dry. Oh, Dan's having a shower, apparently. Kyle, what happened last night? Fuck off. Kyle uh, didn't have a great night. His half of the tent collapsed and he ended up sleeping in a chair. Right, so I'm going to investigate the showers, see what they're like. I brought a frisbee, so we've just been playing that. I'll probably play a bit more of that, but I need to go to the loo and I need to have a shower because I didn't have a shower last night. It was raining and I really couldn't be bothered. Here we go, the showers. Where, oh, the lights come on automatically. This is the gym. It's a bit nicer than the one yesterday. So we've got actual setup, multiple sinks. You've got a couple of toilets, 
and like three showers, which is nice. So we've got like a proper bathroom. Whew, that was absolutely lovely. We're at Brightly Cot Barton campsite here in Cornwall. The facilities are fantastic and the campsite is amazing. So if you're in Cornwall, come and check it out. I'm making breakfast for me and Lewis currently. We've got some pork chipolatas on here. I'm going to whack some uh, smoked back bacon on in a minute. And Lewis doesn't want an egg, but I do. So I'm going to throw an egg in there and going to have a nice sausage bacon and egg butty. Right, the next most important thing is cutting the bun. Now I've got this little steak knife because I didn't want to bring an actual bread knife. And the trick with this is to not let Lewis cut the bun. So you want to slice it nicely down the middle. Hey, it's gonna hate. Lewis sliced it in half yesterday because he's an absolute moron. Not true. There we go, look, lovely. And then you get a bit of butter with the back of the knife, which Lewis didn't understand. Just a little bit of that up. Spread it on the bread thusly. Oh dear, it's going wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, lovely. I hope it's something I'm not seeing. And there we go. As the Mancunians say, we've got a nice buttered balm cake. The finished result of baking with tea, Roy. We've got egg, we've got bacon, we've got three sausages, two different types. We got Cumberland and we've got pork chipolatas. Oh, Let's give it. Shit. Should we give it the test, Daniel? Hmm. I could do. It. This is what happens by like day three. Your car is just full of junk. Well, it's all stuff you need, but you just throw it in. So this morning, this needs to be sorted and tidied a bit. After tidying the mess in my car, we set off once more heading south towards Newquay Beach, but we stopped and found a strange attraction in a little village. So we've just stopped in a little town called Linton, um, and they have this like really cool tram that goes like up the side of this cliff. We're gonna be go we're gonna be going on this. It's like it goes way way up there. And Kyle's going to scream like a little girl. What are you on about? You're going to scream like a little girl. Nah, no, you're you? the one that's afraid of heights, lad. Are you excited for it, Daniel? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> right, so here on. we go. On to the tramp thing. Kyle's shitting his pants. <laughs> 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 down. Here, can you can have me. Have been no. on. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going up. We're going. It's going up. Guys, on mission. Whoa! Look at that. You give a fall. <laughs> Go away. We're <laughs> going up. Oh my god, my legs are shaking. Put out, does it get paid by the trip or something? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, we have reached the top. Let's go and have a little look at the view. If we go over here, we can see where we've just come up. Whoa. So we've just come like up here in this little gap. We were just down here before. It's quite a nice little view. That's Wales over there again. Okay. Here we go. What? Just you got to just come up with it. What was your experience like, Daniel? I don't. I, I, can't, I can't. I cannot. I can't act. Go on then. It was. It I was, really enjoyed it. It was very good. Uh, very high up. There we go. <laughs> Daniel Kearsley, 2023. Oh. I can't do videos. From the small town of Linton, we carried on towards Newquay Beach. 
where Lewis and Dan decide to go off and do their own thing, exploring some caves, and me, Kyle and Brad decided to go and get some food. God. Where are we going? Weird. What is this place? Ooh. Oh, it's the drug den. What? It's the drug den. I think Colin lives down there. It's a bit spooky in here. What the fuck? There's bloody birds. Oof. The dog's going right in there. Look at him. What's down there? Anything interesting? No. No. After spending several hours exploring Nuki Beach and getting something to eat, we carried on to our third night's campsite down at Land's End. Right, so we've made it to. I forgot, is this campsite number three? Yes. Okay, I'll put one of them. Beep. Right, we've made it to campsite number three. Um, we are actually at Land's End right now. How do you feel about that, Kyle? Fucking tired. Yeah. And Brad, are you? I had a lovely drive here, racing a golf down a back lane. Ten minutes after I got in here, the Lewis course of beast. Five minutes after Lewis got here, Daniel got here. Half an, an hour, hour after Daniel got here, <laughs> so I got here. <laughs> anyway, there was a roundabout under construction which didn't appear on the sat nav, so I took the wrong turning and ended up here half an hour later than everybody else. Doesn't matter because Daniel's not here, as you might notice. Daniel's tent has arrived, so Daniel has been here, but yeah, let, let's go and have a little investigate I into Daniel's tent. Oh. So Daniel was blowing his tent up with this pump and oh dear, yeah, oh. His, uh, his mattress popped. So Daniel, his car was over here, he's just excavated, excavated? He's, he's just disappeared to Sainsbury's to go and get himself a new mattress. special shirt on um, this is Kyle's recycling shirt he's gonna show you how to recycle this can wait hold on I've got another one for you my can is empty recycle it for me Kyle fuck <laughs> um, we are at the third campsite out of four we're staying at four campsites while we're in Cornwall. Uh, I had to think where we were for a minute there. Uh, I'm going for a shower now. Um, so let's have a little look at the facilities here. We're at uh, Land's End Camping and Glamping, which it's a lovely site. We've got our tents and stuff down there. But let's go and have a little look at the facilities, the showers and toilets and stuff. We stayed at four campsites in total whilst we were down in Cornwall and we all agreed this one had the nicest facilities. Right, I'm going to toast to a good holiday. Mm -hmm. yes, I mean, it's not over yet, but... Just over halfway. Just yeah, over halfway. just over halfway. And to the nomadges.